Welcome to another edition of Flutter Embedded. This is going to be a basic GPIO example. Flutter Embedded Equipment List. If you're going to be developing, uh, this is the list you're going to need and then the system you're going to run it on. I will put that all in the um, notes in the YouTube. Also, here is the software requirements. Again, I'll put all this in the notes in the YouTube video. Here's a very basic circuit. I'm using a small signal uh, transistor with an LED and a current limiting resistor. And I kept the UI very simple. This is a capacitive touch screen with a, the Raspberry Pis mounted on the back. I used a four gig Raspberry Pi with a micro SD card and it runs fine. This is where you can get the code so you can follow along in the next section and you can also take your time to modify it for your use. Okay, I'm um, pub spec YAML. You'll have to use pub add to get dart periphery package in there. And this I just cleaned this all up so it's just going over to a home screen and then Put whatever title you would like and then I'm just using a home screen right now later I'll have more screens okay uh, this is a custom class that I've created to use the dart periphery package and then I use flutter foundation for debug print now in the package, they don't have a lot of documentation, so I do what a lot of us developers do. You go through the code and you kind of create your own. So in their GPIO, they've done a really good job using the um, Dart interface to the C peripheral package in Linux. So you're able to control the direction, the edge, the bias, then the drive and then in this example I'm not using it but in other ones I'll use it this is if you want to go ahead and configure your specific GPIO with you know like open drain open source pull up pull down and so forth but you don't need all that for just basic output and even input but it is there if you need it that is uh, if you want to invert it and you can also put a label there so in this example I'm just using the basic um, they have the defaults so I created um, an initialization method we're going to use GPI direction uh, GPIO direct out that has a bunch of defaults and that's for pin 16 and then this is the function that actually does the magic um, I, I have it take a argument of a output value bool so that I can use the same method to do true or false which is on or off and then GPO 16 dot write output value uh, that's using the dark periphery package to control the GPIO and then if you need to dispose if you're going to um, get the home screen off of the widget tree you'll need to dispose GPIO 16 and then going to the home screen, very, very basic. I instantiate the, the object there. And you need to initialize. So every time you come back to the home screen, it'll initialize. Um, and then dispose, you would call that if you're going to exit out. And then when you come back, it'll automatically initialize. Now the whole reason for using Flutter for Embedded is the ability to create these fantastic UIs. Uh, I didn't do a lot here because I'm also doing a, a Udemy class training people how to do this. So I'm keeping it kind of basic. But here I've got two methods to turn the LED on and off. And those, you could have used one method, but I do it again for students who may not be familiar with Flutter. So here, um, returning a widget, elevated button, I didn't style it, just use the basic. Use set state, 
and then we're calling this uh, method and giving it true, which will turn the LED, uh, it, it will put the output high, and in this case, the LED will go on. And then false will be low, which the LED will go off. Now, something that's interesting in the Linux desktop, which is basically what we're doing on an embedded system, this file here, you this is how uh, you have a title that comes up on the top of the header bar, and this is where you set that. This is different than iOS apps and Android apps. It, so I just wanted to point that out. Also, this is where you set the size. So my little touch screen was 800 by 480. You have to set that or it would be too big. Well, that about wraps it up. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe and more videos coming.